Speaker number 15. My name's Gary Snook. Could I just say something real quick before I start? The serious complications that you guys are talking about, paraplegia, there was several others. I would trade, I would take any one of those over what I have. You see, I have adhesive arachnoiditis. And my doctor tells me that my pain is worse than metastasized bone cancer. And so really, why would anyone want to listen to what I have to say? Well, the very fact that I'm here before you today should make you sit up and listen because this outcome from epidural steroid injections is so disabling to the patients that uh, they can't even hold their grandchildren. They can't walk to the mailbox. And most of them can't even get out of bed. And so they can't appear before you to even complain about what has been happening to them. Can you imagine that? Your wife, your mother, your father goes to a doctor because they have back pain and walks out of that treatment room with something so hideous or so insidious, it's a thousand times worse. And uh, it's hard to believe that anything like can, that can happen in this day and age, isn't it? Especially after you've listened to all these doctors present today and tell you how safe epidural steroid injections are. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I listened to the same thing. And um, the doctors told me the same thing before every one of the four lumbar steroid injections that I got. And um, it was number four that killed me. And so uh, that took me a while to figure out, but I'll tell you something about doctors. They're happy to play Russian roulette with your health as long as the pistol is pointed at your head. Now, because of that, I'm an expert on pain. And I do that's something I do know a lot about. And so let me... I don't want this to be about my pain, but let me tell you about adhesive arachnoiditis pain. Adhesive arachnoiditis pain is suicidal pain that is beyond human comprehension or imagination. I don't think a healthy person could even comprehend the kind of pain that I am in right now. You can't. A tsunami of pain information flooding into your brain every second of every minute of every day. We live in a Dante's inferno of pain, being roasted on a spit, boiled in oil, hot wires pulling, bone pain, branding irons touching your skin and the ever-present burning that is screaming so loud in your brain that you can think of nothing else. And uh, I'll tell you something, because I never took an aspirin before I met an epidural steroid doctor. And now I have taken more narcotics in the last 10 years. My God, I bet you I've taken more narcotics than everybody in this room combined. And I could, I've taken them all. Nothing kills this pain. So let me ask you this, because all of these things happen to me. Since adhesive arachnoiditis is hopelessly incurable and the only treatment is palliative, and that generally involves a cocktail of high power opiates, and uh, what would you do if I showed up in your waiting room? 
Would you think I was a malingerer or a drug addict if I asked you to help me to control my pain, but then refused to get the pain pump or the 48 epidural steroid injections that you pressured me to receive, even though a specialist, the doctor that diagnosed me, warned him not, not to get it? Would you drop me as a patient and give me one pill and one patch to last me until I found another pain doc? Would you get vehemently angry at me as I was lying on your waiting room floor crying in pain and tell me, your pain is not an emergency? And when a well-respected doctor diagnosed me as having adhesive arachnoiditis, would you call him a quack? Would you tell me that adhesive arachnoiditis is a, is a disease that's made up by attorneys to sue doctors? And that my real problem was is that I was suffering from hyperanalgesia and that I needed another epidural steroid injection. When I showed up at your emergency room, in full-blown pain flare and told you I had adhesive arachnoiditis, would you belittle me? And would you say to me as I lay there crying that, what's the matter? Did a spider bite you? And would you deny me access to pain medication? Would you give me a letter when I left that emergency room telling me that if I came back in full flare, that you wouldn't treat me. Need you to wrap up, please. Thank you. Just let me finish up. Um, let me just say that uh, this is being a pr uh, this is being repeated across the country on a grand scale by doctors who don't appreciate the serious risk they're exposing us to. Um, every time they perform these procedures. And once we do have this disease, they refuse to recognize their culpability and drop us as patients. And uh, I had perfect health. Now I'm a very sick man. We are the thalamide babies of the 21st century. Suffering on such a scale the world has not seen since the medical experiment. Thank you.